Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. In honor of the recent release of Duke Nukem Forever from Gearbox, who acquired the rights from 3D Realms through whatever black magic we don't know, I would like to present to you a little blast from the past, a little trip through the Wayback Machine. I kind of pulled out my old archive of PC Gamer. You can see back there. I've got a few PC Gamers. They kind of date back a ways. This is one of the earliest ones that I still have on hand. It is volume number four, issue number 11, November of 1997. Duke Nukem Forever, the preview, first ever screenshots. Also, XCOM Apocalypse, The Space Bar, Warlords 3, and reviews for Starfleet Academy, Outpost 2, and Resident Evil. Wait a minute. Aren't there like 18 Resident Evil games out now? This thing has a review for the first and the preview for a game that just came out last week. Crazy! Let's just pull this open. What have I got here? Oh my gosh. An advertisement for a little game called StarCraft. Wow. This is a game that's about to come out soon. That's crazy. Also, uh... The sequel is still a year away. Not the sequel to Diablo 2, the sequel of Diablo 2. <laughs> Anyone remember when Lord British got assassinated? I do. That's a little sad. The preview for Resident Evil. Curious what it got? Me too, actually. <gasps> Not bad, 87%. Look at those graphics, wow. She's kinda hot. Hot, really, you know. Anyway, but that's not why we're here. We are here to look at, holy crap, transform your PC into a gaming powerhouse. What kind of a computer would a gaming powerhouse be? The kind that uses slot loading CPUs, the Pentium 2. You guys remember the Pentium 2? Oh, that was crazy. Check it out. Newfangled PS2 ports. Just in case you weren't familiar with what those things are. And the super newfangled, oh my gosh, USB. Wow. This is so, so... I think I'm going to call it fly. How much RAM should I have in my machine? Do you need to upgrade your RAM? It all depends on what you do to your computer and how much you already have. For the average gamer running Windows 95, 16 megabytes is the minimum you'll want in your machine. For even better performance, you'll want 24 or 32 megabytes. Right now, RAM recommendations and game reviews peak at 32 megabytes, but don't be surprised if that number becomes a minimum requirement in a year or so. There are several different types of memory with several differences between them. If you choose to replace all of your memory, get the fastest RAM your system board will support. If you already are adding RAM to the already installed, get the same type unless you can be absolutely sure your system board supports different types of RAM installed simultaneously. There are two sizes of RAM. Blah, 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 blah. Wow. But let's get to why we're really here. Guys, remember that thing? Star Trek, the Secret of Vulcan Fury, coming this spring! Cancelled. Uh, ah, here it is. Here it is. Wow. Holy crap. Yep, they built it on the Quake engine, originally. Then they licensed Unreal. And then, I don't know what they ended up with. You know, now that it's finally out. <gasps> They've also got initial screenshots to Max Payne. Look at what Max Payne originally looked like. Holy crap. I just had a fly land on my ear. That's crazy, I hate that. Zork, Grand Inquisitor. Okay, here we go. Hail to the king, baby. I don't, I'm, I, I try to do the dude voice, but I just can't. Hail to the king, baby. Whatever. Not even. A little bit. Okay. Here's what Duke Nukem originally looked like. Oh, if I can get the glare off. Maybe you can even read the caption. <laughs> Boom! Las Vegas cityscape. Isn't that crazy? Wow. Wow, 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 wow. <sighs> okay. Yeah. Check out that. That's some seriously high definition Hummer modeling there. And we got Duke on a jet ski. I don't even know if that made it into the game because I didn't buy it because 
I was kind of anticipating it, and then I thought, you know what, I'd rather have a car than a new game. So I'm, you know, continuing to save towards the car and not buying the game. But, Las Vegas, with, you know, stuff. We got slot machines, and we got... Get that stupid glare off. Sorry about the glare. Man, it's, it's like colored lights in a 3D engine. Real-time rendering of colored lights. That's so trippy. <laughs> Uh, oh my gosh! This huge fold-out for Quake 2 just popped into my face. Wow. So, so nostalgic. These were the days. These were the days. Oh, screw it. These days are much better today than these ones were. Ah, the Last Express. G Police. Wow, I remember that game was so crazy because it like required a 3D accelerator. Oh yeah, that build your own computer in here. 3D effects cards, they put two of them in it because you could have them in SLI. That was back when SLI stood for scan line interleave because you'd have two cards, one would render the even numbered frames and the other one would render the odd numbered, not frames, sorry, lines because it's scan line interleave. And then you had to have an external pass-through cable connecting the two of them. Oh, I got a picture of it here. Let me pull up the picture. Speaking of pictures. What is wrong with that guy? If it'll focus. Focus! Focus! Lose your marbles. Where's that stupid computer? Build, build the video card with the, the pass-through. Ah. Yep, yep, that, yeah, you, you have one video card plugged into the, uh, yeah, wow. This is a trip back in history, before Windows XP, before Windows 98 even, this thing. Oh. CD-ROM editions on the CD, Hexen 2, plus Dark Rift, Dungeon Keeper, Warwind 2, G Police, Virtua Fighter 2, and more. Well, thanks for tuning in to yet another episode of I Feel Like Broadcasting Something on the Web and Putting It on YouTube so you get to watch it. And thanks for tuning in because I just said that. So, you know. Um, are the cool kids saying peace out? That seems kind of dumb. I'm not going to say peace out. I think I'm just going to say I'm out. Or goodbye. or I'm just going to quietly click the button that stops the recording without really actually saying anything of farewell.